Hey everybody, uh, I've been doing a little bit of reading today on the Iron Dome, which is Israel's new missile defense system. Uh, I have an article here, I'll post it up. I was reading through it and um, I was trying to think about what is the true cost of the system and what is the cost to the Israeli government and then by proxy by the U.S. taxpayer because the, the Israeli government is not um, self-sufficient without United States taxpayer help. Um, so the article says that there's 737 missiles fired in the last three days alone and then 245 of which were intercepted through the Iron Dome system. And if you haven't seen it on TV how it works, it's, uh, it's just a, um, you know, there's a, ro a small rocket launcher on the ground and whenever a missile is fired at Israel uh, from Hamas or from you know, Hamas in Gaza or anywhere else, they, uh, they send up this missile to intercept it. And the article says that Israel right now has five batteries, which is, you know, the setup to shoot the, uh, the missiles, that's the launcher, at a cost of 50 million per battery. And they want to do 13 million of them, or uh, 13 of them, you know, that's the total amount of batteries that they want to have. So 13 total, or total batteries times 50 million, and that brings up the total bill to over half a billion dollars. And then also the article says that each missile costs at least $62,000. So if there were 245 um, Hamas rockets shot down in the last three days, that came out to around a cost of, I think it was over $15 million I calculated. And keep in mind that was $62,000 per missile at least. That is according to uh, Israeli sources. So the cost could be much higher um, depending on who has the right information. So anyway, this is just another example of how the true cost of, of the war in, um, in Israel and Palestine is very large, especially to the U.S. taxpayer. The article says that uh, um, we are subsidizing the Iron, Do the Iron Dome program, us being the U.S. taxpayer, um, by about, it's at least over $200 million. There have been different times when we've put, uh, put up money for it. Uh, I haven't gone and looked extensively at all of the times that we have, uh, you know, assisted with its development, but it's at least um, a quarter million dollars and probably a little more, or a quarter billion dollars. Um, uh, from the U.S. taxpayer to develop the system. So if this system costs 15 million for three days of rocket strikes, how much would the United States be paying to Israel in the event of a prolonged conflict um, over this uh, system? Uh, just a, another interesting think, uh, thing to think about, uh, especially in light of all the neocons who are going out and saying that we should start World War III by bombing Iran. I'll post up the article. You can check out the math for yourself. I, I'm giving rough estimates on the numbers. Um, I didn't want to carry it down to the last, you know, decimal point. But definitely a very expensive system and one that the United States taxpayer is uh, picking up the tab on for Israel as always. Thanks for watching.